right, what's up everybody? It's your girl Jaquela A. And here I am today doing another set on my left hand using my right hand. As you can see, I've already done my right hand as always. I'm using my Erica's bits here. This is where I got my skiver bit and my cross cut bit and that round bit. It's a little bit too big, so I don't use that round bit. I thought it was going to be much smaller, but I ended up getting a round bit for Melody Susie that I think I do use in this video. So here for the skiver bit, I've already pushed back my cuticles and I'm just getting the shine off of my nail plate. I always have bad cuticles. I work a really rough job. I always have bad nail beds in general, really dry. So I got to do quite a bit of work on myself when I'm doing this. All right, and here I am just dusting that off and getting ready to clean up the skin. Now, when I'm using this round bit, I'm not using it on my actual nail bed or my nail plates. I'm just using it around the edges to get my dry skin and to get any really flaky cuticle area, any skin that is just really tough to get off, anything that I wouldn't want to use a regular drill bit to get off with my skin this round diamond bit is really good for that and as you can see in this melody susie kit that i got off of amazon you get so many different um diamond bits these are all diamond bits you even get a cleaner brush bit so i love this little thing and here i am using my cosmo tips i love these tips they're really square they're actually quite long you can extend them and make them really long um, I'm using the clear ones. They do have a natural color as well. I got my KDS glue. This glue is really fast drying. I buy them in like 10 pack or five pack off of Amazon. I think 10. And I've already applied them. So I'm just going to do my filing with my hand file. So I'm going to sharpen up that square and then I'm going to go in the middle and try to make the part where the tip of the nail meets your nail plate as flush as I can. It doesn't really matter depending on what color of acrylic I'm using or if I'm getting like nails that are polished a solid color. It doesn't really, really matter, but I think it's helpful or maybe it's just habit at this point, one of the two. So I have my nail prep. I do one coat of nail prep. This is my Nia, Mia Secret Nail Prep. I think it's alcohol-based. I know a lot of people that use alcohol before they do any sort of nails uh, do, and do any um, um acrylic applications, so they don't even use that. They just use alcohol. I don't think that that's a necessary step if you use alcohol to have a dehydrator. I don't think you need both. Then I have the Young Nails Protein Bond. I do two layers of the Young Nails Protein Bond. I love this bonder. I've had two or three different uh, primers that I've tried, and that's my favorite. That blue acrylic mixture is one that I made at home. Those jars I bought off Amazon. I have my Mia Secret ac acrylic in white and my Mia Secret acrylic in clear. This um, blue is a glow powder. I bought the glow powder off of Amazon, my favorite place ever. And then I mixed it with this clear and this white. I should have put maybe a little bit more white in all of my glow powder mixes that I made, but this one turned out really good. I got this dapping dish off of someone who sells it on Amazon. Hit me up if you want to know who that person is. And I got these flakes from Natalie Carmona. She is a nail tuber. She does nails on YouTube here and she owns a business. Um, get nail 32 on Instagram where she um, sells all type of jewels and all type of things and these uh, foil flakes is on her site so that's where I got those from so I just took some out this is actually my first time using these and I really like the effect that I got I'm using the other end of my cuticle pusher to just break those up into very small pieces and I'm going to incorporate those on three out of my five nails. All right, and here I 
am back about to start my acrylic application my monomer that i'm using is the mia secrets monomer i am dipping my brush into that clear just so that i can put that clear over the nail bed i do that on both of the fingers that are gonna get a colored acrylic sometimes i forget but i always try my best to do that step is really helpful for me it just makes the application of the colored acrylic so much better and then when i remove my nails or anybody a client's i have that clear layer to rely on because i know that there's like a clear layer down so when i am filing down to do a fill or a removal i know when my colored acrylic is done it's really helpful sometimes i forget but that is a tip that i would suggest that you guys do right and i just finished my two blue nails it was just solid blue nails and now i am going to do my marbling effect using that white acrylic that mia secret white and that homemade blue glow in the dark powder i'm just placing randomly now there's no rhyme or reason how i'm doing this it is random some of the nail beds ended up more blue and it got whiter to the tip some of them were the reverse i'm just placing a bead and swirling them together if i feel like it's too much white i'm adding in some blue if i feel like it's too much blue i'm adding in some white if i feel like it's too concentrated i'm adding in some clear it's just it's a free expression there is no real way to marble these two acrylics just use very small beads and build it up to the design that you like and don't worry about making it too thick because when we cap it with the clear that's going to give us the strength of the nail that's going to hold the design in place also for when we're filing so don't worry about the design making the thickness just worry about the actual design and how you want it to look All right, here I am on the second nail. Just finishing up, looking at the design, seeing how I like it. Just look at it from different angles and see how you like it. There's no rush in doing this. Even if you're doing it on a client, when you're new, like I am, you have to take your time. So I'm picking up some of those gold leaves. I forgot to do that on the thumb. 
that was a major key so i went back to the thumb and i did that but i'm just placing them very sporadic seeing how i want them to be taking a look at it and just look at it from all different angles look at your design from all different angles just to see if you like where you're going with it and only work with a, a little bit of product at a time and make a little bit of movement at a time so that you can always add more you can always add a little bit more acrylic a bead here or there you can always add a flake a, a, um a foil flake here or there but once you add it kind of is very timely to remove especially when acrylic is drying now Mia secret is a slow drying system but you don't want to have to deal with removing something so just work very slow and a little bit at a time so here i am i like the way everything turned out and now i'm moving on to cap the design in now that i like how it is now when i'm doing this you do want to make it thick enough so that you're not filing off the gold foil the gold foil may protrude off the nail so you want to make it not really protrude off the nail because the, the gold foil that um natalie carmona sells it was very light and it was very thin so it may not protrude off the nail but you do not want to file off this very pretty design that you took so much time to do so make that cap coat thick enough so that you don't file off your design but not so thick that you have super thick heavy nails which that is a beginner mistake so you'll find a balance you'll with trial and error you'll find the thickness that you need to be at or your desired thickness because it's really an individual choice it's just about what you like all right so here i am and i'm finishing up with that as you can see at some point through that acrylic application i switched my brush i usually use a 10 size 10 alpha brush to do my acrylic application and then i switched to a size 14 brush that i got from a local um nail supply store so i don't even know the brand but it's a lot bigger it holds a lot more monomer and it can pick up a lot more product so i usually cap with that bigger brush i'm just doing my filing because the shape can get wonky when you are doing your acrylic application so i want to go in and do a finished hand filing and now i have my cross cut bit large barrel that i got from erica's off of amazon i just literally googled cross cut bit large barrel or large barrel cross cut bit and what i could get without having a license popped up there was a site i could buy these type of bits off of 
professional grade without actually having a license and trying to buy from Atwood Industries, which that's super popular, super professional company, but you do have to be licensed to purchase. So I love this bit. It really is like such a time saver. It acts as a buffer and it can, you know, file down the imperfections. So I really do love that bit. I'm using my Zule nail adhesive, as you see over here to the side. I'm using Swarovski crystals that I got off of Blue Sheik's crystals. And I'm using them in teardrop and in a small size number four and number five. I'm using that top coat I got off of Amazon and I'm using a matte top coat that I got from Models One off of Amazon as well. So just pulling some of those out, a couple of those teardrop Swarovski crystals. Now I am not really I like I understand the hype of Swarovski crystals. They glow beautifully like i'm looking at them on my nails right now they really are beautiful but there are so many other beautiful crystals for such a cheaper price so i don't only use sarasi crystals i actually bought them for my birthday and i did a birthday set and i just have a bunch of them left over because they all couldn't fit on that birthday set so that's actually why i even have them a lot more expensive but they are gorgeous i must admit they really are gorgeous so i'm just figuring out the design most of the bling is gonna go on those blue nails i love the bling and matte combination that i got the only thing about this set that kind of irked me is that i wish my crystals or my bling some sort of a hardware maybe was gold or that i probably would have used the silver flakes that I got from that Natalie Carmona kit of foils. Maybe the silver flakes would have set this off better because it would have went with the bling. I don't know if the gold flakes and the bling are clashing to me or not, but I probably should have um, kept the foil and the bling in the same color family, you know what I'm saying? But either way, I still did like how it turned out. All right, so here we are finishing up. I put that matte top coat on those blue nails and I put a regular top coat on the other three marble nails and I'm just putting on some oil to finish up and I'll show you my right hand at the end. This is my right hand just so that you guys could see it. Obviously, I don't do it on camera, but just to show it off a little bit better. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.